to isolate the flowers so I'm going to fill the mask with black and I'm going to use what, some white paint um, maybe 15 just going to zoom this and just make sure only the flowers are affected by the adjustment layer so that's that is done uh, then uh, what I want to do I want to brighten her face I think her face is a little dark needs a, needs a little bit more light so to simulate a sort of a uh, reflector effect a reflector reflecting the sunlight in her face what you can do is just uh, first you want to add a new layer and you just make a selection around her face like that that then you fill it with fill it with white um, then you want to uh, use Gaussian Gaussian blur here maybe 10 it's going to do the trick then what you want to do is uh, select the uh, layer blending mode overly uh, that's a little too uh, too bright so you're just going to reduce it to maybe 20 20 percent opacity so which and then you, you can really play with the uh, the value here to get the result you want I think here you know 15 might be the uh, might be the spot and uh, then we can uh, then we're going to finish this off by uh, by uh, sharpening the image so what you want to do is you just want to select the background layer uh, you're going to want to duplicate it uh, then you are going to want to uh, go to filter I pass or what you can do first is just change the blending mode to linear light then you go to filter other I pass and then you put the value that gives you the uh, the, the the sharpness you want usually I, I nearly for this size of a, of a of an image I usually go with 0 0.3 pixels and then I might change the opacity here uh, so the opacity you can 70% maybe you you go with uh, maybe 60% and then what you can do is using a mask so here I'm adding a mask to that layer uh, you may want to uh, unsharpen certain areas of the of the image for example the background maybe you don't want the background to be so sharp so you're just going to use a black brush uh, maybe you're going to increase the size to let's say 75 uh, we're going to leave the opacity to 100 and we're just going to erase the sharpness uh, for the sky and the trees to give it a bit of a uh, blurry background now for elements that are a little closer you might decrease the opacity to say 50% where you will only erase half of the sharpness and so we can do it on the foreground also and uh, basically that's it that's the uh, that's the end result so uh, we can uh, perhaps look at the difference going to just duplicate the background put it up 
and there you go you see the difference pretty simple pretty fast uh, and this is basic color grading uh, for uh, wedding photography